I'm Andreas Dietrich, founder and owner of Enerdrive Limited, Switzerland, Zurich. I'm uh, working in the field of power electronics, control design and uh, applications uh, in this field, regenerative energy, drive control for about uh, now 25 years. So I studied electrical engineering in Germany, in Dresden, Technical University. I graduated uh, at the same university, made my PhD thesis uh, in the field of uh, adaptive control of AC and DC drives. Enerdrive offers services in the field of control design, software development for, for frequency converters, and for applications like um, regenerative energy conversion, wind power systems, photovoltaic systems, battery storage systems, also for static power supplies or electronic power supplies for AC applications for systems for uh, regarding uh, which are uh, targeting grid quality like active filters. Yeah, in the first place um, control and software development for um, a company like like Enerdrive would would not be possible without such a such a device or not effective because I don't have the time and, and also not the funds and, and, uh, and uh, I cannot uh, spend the effort to, to develop my own uh, hardware in the loop kind of testing system or or to, to, to build a hardware test stand or something like that, especially for power electronic applications in, in the range, range of several hundred kilowatts and, and more. This is simply not possible. And, and um, so it, to, to a very great degree, shortens the development time. It makes uh, control design very effective and it provides possibilities which you just don't have when you don't have a, a, a real-time simulation. Yes, I had the chance to visit Typhoon office several times. I'm very impressed all the time of the engagement uh, of, of the engineers, also of, of the knowledge and and competence and uh, I think this is really a, a very good working company with a good product. I think microgrid uh, applications are a very suitable target for developing with this in hardware in the loop. System. Of course, you need uh, for, for a real microgrid application with, with a number of components uh, working together and, and everything you need a, quite an uh, extensive uh, tool set already. So, but um, such a microgrid can be uh, su such a complex system with um, many interactions between loads and sources and uh, transmission and everything that um, it's uh, hardware and the loop of simulation is, is just uh, something what you cannot go without it. No, definitely not. <laughs> to, to all others, I would recommend it warmly, most warmly. <laughs>